Hello everybody and welcome to Kimberly's Cocoon Little Christmas Tour. I've been saying I've been doing this for a while, so here we go. I'm going to turn the light on now. This is our tree. We're going to start at the top. We have this beautiful star that I had purchased off Etsy many years ago. It's stained glass. It's really hard to see the colors though, but in the stained glass there is like purples and blues. I think you can see it a little down there. And the center is green. And then my tree is a traditional tree. I guess that's what it's called. It's full of ornaments that all have meaning to us, or me, uh, both me and us. And um, I'm not going to tell you the meaning of all of them, but I will some. First, we'll start here at joy. <laughs> I have a joy ornament. Y'all know I'm all about joy. I love snowmen. There are quite a few snowmen on here. And many of the ornaments were gifts from children I nannied throughout the years. And some are from children when, back when I was a preschool teacher. This one, actually, many years ago, my mom went through her ornament, our family ornaments because she decided to do a Victorian tree. And so she let us pick the ones we wanted. And I have two of these on the tree, these little pink popcorn houses. So these are over 40 years old. I remember as a little girl, I thought those were actually popcorn. And there's our first Christmas. That's shaped like Africa. And the, Oh, here's a Garrett popcorn drum. Anybody who, I'm from Chicago. Anybody who's ever been there or knows anything about Garrett's popcorn, if you don't, go online and order yourself some. It is far more expensive to order online because you have to have it shipped in a tin. But when you go and then you, they have several shops at O'Hare. If you fly through O'Hare, go get yourself some Garrett's. You will not regret it. My favorite is the cheddar. Um, I almost said there's a Chicago mix, but now they call it Garrett's mix. They had a, somebody sue them over the name Chicago mix, which is when they mix together caramel popcorn and cheddar popcorn. So if you like that sweet um, savory combo. I have a suitcase to represent my travels. Let's see. Oh, I love this one. It's two Maasai warriors, arm in arm. That was a gift from a nanny family. We have birds. My husband and I both love birds. This uh, hobby horse, this little rocking horse that looks like a piece of candy, was from my childhood. I have a frog. That was a gift from a nanny child. Lots of snowmen. I love snowmen. So it's just really a fun traditional tree with lots of meaning. And um, and then underneath we have quite a few of our gifts. We've got a few more left. My mom has a couple left to wrap, and I think I have a couple things that I'm still waiting for. And then I'll wrap them. We love bows. My mom and I both love the wired ribbon and making bows and adding little ornaments and different touches to gifts. It just makes it look prettier. Then I have to show you all this ornament, a couple ornaments actually. One of them that's not on the tree is the pickle. Here's this um, little drum. I have a couple of these on the tree. It's from Ethiopia. It's a little wooden drum. And then on the top, the lid actually opens. And so, as I told you all, we hide the pickle on Christmas. And um, remember I said this year it was a small one. And so I um, want to show you the tiny little pickle. There it is. And it does have this tiny little star at the top where you can hang it on a branch. But um, that first year we didn't tell because my brother's children are, you know, young adults now. Now they're in their mid to, early, mid to late 20s. But I started this tiny pickle a couple years ago. And so the tradition is you hide this on Christmas Eve when children have gone to bed. And then on Christmas morning the, church, the first child who finds it gets an extra gift. And then the first adult who finds it gets like you know, good luck for the year or something. But we don't have the adults find it. We just let the children find it. But that first year, I did not let them know it was tiny. They were looking for that big, you know, three, four inch pickle. And I put it inside one of those drums. So it, we had a really good time with them. Because you're not allowed to touch the tree. You have to find it just by looking. Um, so that's off to the side. Because what we do is when they're all here, we hide it after we send them out of the room. Because if they were to... If we were to hide it before they came and do it the traditional way, Christmas Eve, because we do celebrate Christmas Day, uh, you know, they'd be looking while we're talking. So, And then I have to show you all this special ornament. I know it doesn't look like much to y'all, but um, back when we got to go through our childhood ornaments, this one wasn't there. And I made this guy in third grade. He's a little doe teddy bear that I made. 
Look how symmetrical I was even then. Then I've got two red ears, the green head, the blue nose, the body, and the top arms are white, and then the bottom two legs are yellow. And then I have some red rickrack on the neck, and then three little rickrack cutouts down the belly. I'm guessing those were all the colors of paint because I used to like to use every color that was at my disposal. Um, but I made this in third grade, and third grade was my absolute favorite teacher, and um, he broke at some point, and I remember when we went through our childhood ornaments asking about him, and my mom just said, remember, he broke, so I thought she disposed of him. Well, over the years, she's tried to fix him, and finally, Gorilla Glue is what worked. She'd tried several variety of crazy glues throughout the years, but obviously, glue has improved, <laughs> um, and so she... Once we finished decorating this tree, she went in the other room and got a box. And I thought, oh, that's sweet. She got us a new ornament for our new house. And um, when I opened it, I totally went to the ugly cry. Oh, it was really sad, ladies. Like in a joyous way, but I didn't even boo-hoo, man. I had the ugly cry from second one. So um, I do need to get a little ribbon to attach to him so I can hang him on the tree. So for now, he's laying off to the side. And then here we have our nativity. I have a little wooden crash. My nativity is pewter. So inside of there we have um, baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the wise men. And then off to the side we have donkeys and cows and sheep and angels and camels and a couple trees. And then back there I have my pewter Santas and my pewter tree. But this right here is the whole entire reason for Christmas. The birth of our Lord and Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without him, we wouldn't have Christmas. Now, we don't know the exact date of his birth. This is the date man has chosen that we honor his birth. And if he had not come to earth, we would not have Christmas. We do have a um, birthday cake for Jesus every year at Christmas to honor and thank him for coming to earth to save us. So thank you, Jesus. Then I have this little cross here, which is wooden. It's carved, and it tells the whole story of Jesus from his birth to his life on earth, his death, and his resurrection. I love that. And then over here, I have my wooden pyramid. I am of German heritage on my father's side. I actually had one of these when I was a little girl. It was metal. I won it selling candy at school and I loved it. I thought this just amazed me that you light candles and as the heat rises the pyramid spins. So this particular pyramid is much bigger than the one I had when I was a little girl. It is three levels. On the lowest level we have Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus and the three wise men. On the second level we have a shepherd with some sheep and some trees. And then the top level, of course, is the fan, the blades that spin. On each blade there is a, like a star design. And then all around are the candles that are lit up that are making it spin. And then my candle snuffer is a snow mama with two snow babies hanging under her. And then on the handle, at the base of the handle, are three snowballs. And then here's our stockings. I'm not going to show them fully because our names are on them, but... Those were made by um, someone on Etsy from, they recycled sweaters and made stockings, which I love them. And then our stocking holders are iron. My husband's is a tree and mine is a snowman. Uh, we don't have a mantle here like we did in Texas. So I just chose to use that little table. And then throughout the house on different doorknobs, I have different fun little things, but I'll just show you this one. This one says, Flakes Welcome. It's a little pillow that's blue has a snowman on it and it says flakes welcome and then on our doors we have wreaths but I'm just showing you this room for now here's my plant table let me step at, or at all this is the only room I'm showing I'm a step back uh, my plant table did get some lighting I bought one of those um, tube lights it's a long stretchy tube I don't remember what it's called but it's red so it's kind of coiled throughout the plants so they're happy now that just not just the tree is decorated over on this corner, I have a cutout of word. It's oh, a word. It says snow, and the S and the N and the W are in a like a deep blue. And then painted on there are some trees and stars. And then sticking out of the 
N is a wooden yellow star, and then the O is represented by a snowman, and he's painted white, and in the center of his belly is a cutout of a snowflake. He's got a red hat on with a red scarf. And then down under the table, this actually looks beautiful with candles lit behind it, but because it's on the floor, I didn't do that, but when I had it on the mantle, I did. It is four iron snowmen, like all, a strip that has four iron snowmen cut out, but you can see they have cutouts of their eyes, nose, mouth, little buttons down the front, um, and so it's really cool with the candles behind it. And then over here, I have the Holy Family in silver. I have... Um, Mary's holding baby Jesus and Joseph and then behind them I have this tall angel that I'm not really sure what it's made out of I think the center is styrofoam I like to joke that it's made out of hair it's not it's very th it's thinner than a broom bristle I'm not sure what the fiber is but it's this very thin blonde fiber that makes her entire body up and then her wings are made from gold ribbon and then over here on this very special chair, this chair was made by my grandfather. For my grandmother, this was her desk chair all my life, she sat on this chair. And it's really funny because my mom's family is very large, and whenever you would go there, if you got up from your seat, you knew when you came back it was gone. And so um, most of the time we sat on the floor because there were so many of us, but my grandma got her chair. This was grandma's chair, and... Um, when my grandmother passed away, my grandfather passed away before her, so when my grandmother passed away, everything, you know, the house was to be sold and divided among the living children, and then all her stuff was just, you know, her earthly possessions to be divided up, and so I wrote a letter to my mom and aunts and uncles and listed the things that I would love represented in my house of my grandmother, the things that meant grandma, like when I would pass them, they would give me such warm memories, and this is one of them. And I was very blessed to get everything on my list, but that is my grandma's chair that my grandpa built. And sitting on that is a little snow mama, maybe a grandma, but no, it's a snow mama. I actually got this here in the antique store. Um, she is wearing a plaid dress, and she has a burlap jacket over it, and she has on a kerchief, or as my mom always called them when I was growing up, a babushka. And she does have a little snow baby strapped to her chest and then a little snow baby in her pocket. Isn't that sweet? Her arms are actually sticks, just two sticks coming out of each arm. And then back here under this plant, I have a little um, snowman, uh, not snowman, a Santa who's winking. I painted him. And then here on this end table, we have some of our Christmas cards. And then on our coffee table, my mom gave us this this year. It's this big red doily, all in red crochet. I, it's pretty sure it's machine done. But in each quadrant of the circle is a two candles that are lit and then um, a, like a bow underneath and then um, a, a bell. And then let me see if I can... Oh, down here I have... A little snow family, a mama, and they're wooden. They're sitting on my plant stand. We go, oh, there's my, my yarn basket. There's some yarn draped across Mama Snow. She's holding a snow baby. Their hair and hat and stuff are iron. Mama's holding a snow baby, and Daddy's holding a star. And then down here in this corner, I have a little snowman. It's a little snowman bag. And well, I'm trying, I've got stuff, but it's all by photograph, so i got to zoom in. I've got a snowman perched up there. And then over here I have a snowman sitting next to my diffuser and my skinny men. Those are iron. <laughs> and then next to my, uh, oh, it's, it's a Sensi burner. I have another snowman. I love his legs are buttons. A little stack of buttons. And then I didn't do this in Texas. Oh, here's my snowman towel in the kitchen. I have a few of those. And I didn't do this in Texas, but I did here. I hung all the jingle bells on the doorknobs. We didn't have doorknobs in Texas. Our cabinets just opened. And then here I have this fan blade that has a Santa painted on it. I need to get myself a fan blade and paint a snowman. I did not paint this, but I would love to paint a snowman. It's just Santa's face. He has no nose or mouth. It's just two eyes. And then he has a 
a holly leaf up on his hat. So I really like that a lot. So let's just go back here. I'll turn off the light and we'll get a little last glimpse. I had to turn the light on or you weren't going to see like the snow mama over on the chair and stuff. But please remember today and every day to find your joy. And one last look at baby Jesus. And again, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming to this earth and living amongst the human population and teaching us so very much. We thank you for that. Every Christmas, for every day, I thank him, but at Christmas we do pause and take note of all that Jesus did for us in coming to this earth. That is the meaning of Christmas. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Do have a very, very merry and blessed Christmas, and God bless.